We are here at Michigan International Speedway for the Citizens Bank 400. This is race number 17 in the Sunoco Cup Series. Here are the points standings in the Sunoco Cup Series after 16 events. Liam Campbell leads the points. Josh Osborne is second. Stephanie Naylor is third. Tim Welch the winner at Riverside is fourth and Zach Carlson rounds out the top five. Sixth through tenth consists of four-time winner Kean Shaw in sixth. Seventh is Dylan Poteet. Trent Dunham the lone rookie in the top ten is eighth. Eric Matthews is ninth and Ray Castor rounds out the top ten. Now here's the starting grid for the Sunoco Cup Series Citizens Bank 400 here at Michigan. On the pole at 187.911 miles per hour is the number 36 Cox treated lumbers Pontiac of Jonathan Gators the winner at Talladega. On the outside is the number 86 C. Raymer Cruiser Rolls of Faith Johnson. Second row going away spot number 3 is the number 63 Nescafe Pontiac of Josh Osborne. Alongside is the number 28 Texaco Havolane Ford of Keith Batson. Third row going away spot number 5 is the number 98 Wintixie Planters Chevy of Daniel Schwab the winner of the Bud Shootout at Daytona. Alongside is the number 95 Shonies and Olds of Justin Acosta. Fourth row going away spot number 7 is the number 90 Splitfire Spark Plugs Ford of Alex Filter. Alongside him is the number 46 City Chevy of Johnny Gardner. Fifth row going away spot number 9 is the number 43 SDP Pontiac of Eric Matthews. To his right is the 07K Mark Ford of Skyland Carlson. Sixth row going away spot number 11 is the number 22 Maxwell House Ford of Dylan Poteet. Alongside is the number 19 Tyson Foods Ford of John Dawson. Seventh row going away spot number 13 is the number 9 Coors Light Melling Ford of Ray Castor. To his right is the number 1 Auto Light Spark Plugs Ford of Joseph Lombard. Eighth row going away spot number 15 is the number 87 Dentine Chevy of four time winner Kean Shaw. Alongside him is the number 41 Sitgo Buick of Austin Hughes. Ninth row going away spot number 17 is the number 13 Glidden Paints Chevy of Tim Fiegel. Alongside is the number 8 Snickers Buick of Tim Walsh the winner at Riverside. Row 10 will be the 4 of Zach Carlson and the 3 of Colin Cropley the winner at Las Vegas. Row 11 will be the 0 of Trent Dunham and the 18 of Connor Breton. Row 12 will be the 10 of Alexander Dawson and the 81 of Nick Baxter the winner at Martinsville. Row 13 would be the 82 of Fred Christopher and the 12 of Michael Dawson the winner of the Winston. Row 14 will be the 21 of Ryan Cooper and the 14 of two-time winner Dylan Kilburn. Row 15 will be the 6 of Kathy Quintara and the 92 of Trey Campbell. Then it will be the 40 of Dylan Hughes the winner at Fontana and the 33 of Skylar Harris the winner at North Wilkesboro. The 15 of Levi Shones and the 5 of two-time winner Dylan Ruiz. The 79 of Season 1 champion Chantal Ibarra and the 45 of John Acosta. Then Jennifer Hughes and James Qualls. Stephanie Naylor and Sasha Dawson. Rounding out the field will be the 2 of Liam Campbell the points leader and the winner at Richmond and the 11 of Bob Marshall the winner of the most recent event at Pocono. That's your starting grid for this The Citizens Bank 400 here at Michigan International Speedway. So there's your starting grid. It's right now Jonathan Gators will lead Faith Johnson will be second as this obviously is event number. 17 of the Sunoco Cup Series. Let's see what comes out here. It's a lot of great racing happens here at Michigan. And 20 laps of it you're going to get right here at the Citizens Bank 400. Faith Johnson is trying to look to show what she was known to do in the Sunoco Bus Series last season. Same could be said about Keith Batson who's starting right behind her in spot number 4. And Josh Osborne is looking to try to regain his points lead from Liam Campbell. The green flag flies and we are racing. They start to really pick and choose their positions, whatever they need. Jonathan Gators will lead. A little bit of drafting help coming from the number 63 Nest Cafe Pontiac of Josh Osborne. Four wide battle going on back here with Faith Johnson. Here comes Dylan Pote. He's looking to try to get a win. He's been making a move. Eric Matthews trying to regain himself back into the mix of things. Right now, it is Jonathan Gator setting the tone with lots of three-wide racing. 
Eric Matthews now goes to second. Poteet is third. Poteet, Matthews, Cooper, Harris team doing battle. Dylan won here in the Carfax 400, the season two of the Cash DX Cup Series. As here comes Ray Caster. Eric Matthews does not nose out Gators. He misses it by about 200 of a second. And here comes Tim Beagle. Tim Feigl. Excuse me. He battles it out with Ray Caster. Zach Carlson now making a move. Keon Shaw, four-time winner this season, trying to rebound himself after having a commanding lead, seeing it go away to nothing. And now he finds himself barely hanging on to a top 10 position after struggling. And we got trouble. There goes Alex Phil turns to the wall. And Joseph Lombard is flipping. Over and over and over. And that was an ugly scene. James Qualls, oh man. More bad woes for James Qualls as well as Dylan and Daniel Schwab as Eric Mantis, the Dupley, will win the race back to the line. Then it'll be Zach Carlson and Trent Dunham. Oh man, James Qualls who just never has gotten a big, a good fortune since becoming the first repeat winner last season here in the Sunoco Cup Series when he won at Pocono after winning at Las Vegas. And it was all culminated right here. Alex Filter, Daniel Schwab, battling it out. Actually, it was actually started Dylan Poteet. I do believe that was the 18 of the 90 of Johnny Dawson. As Alex Filter goes up high, gets right into Poteet, comes down into John Dawson, puts Filter into the wall. There's where Daniel Schwab takes it. There's where then Colin Cropley spins out. Joseph Lombard and sends Lombard on a massive tumble down that front straightaway, just like Michael McDowell, Texas, in 2008. Johnny Gardner looked like Skylar Harris got into that. Yeah, you can see right here, he got tapped by, really, by by Schwab and then Schwab chucks him under and a little bit of help of John Acosta it's sending him on a massive barrel wall Alex Filter hitting the wall there's James Qualls going in there Gaffy Guitar everybody else going through Trey Campbell Probably the best vantage point of things is right here. Let's go look at it in real time. Then we'll go on board. Let's go on board. Didn't take long till we had the wrecking. knock him out of the race and where from that standpoint Eric Matthews leads that it is Zach Carlson looking really strong in number two Trent Dunham is third then it is Alexander Dawson trying to rebound himself then it's Michael Dawson then it'll be Tim Fiegel Nick Baxter Keon Shaw Ray Caster Ryan Cooper Keith Batson, Dylan Pote, Jonathan Gators, Tim Walsh, Fred Christopher, Levi Shones, Michael Dawson, John Dawson, Shadeli Barrow, Jennifer Hughes, Stephanie Naylor, Bob Marshall, Liam Campbell, Colin Cropley, Connor Breeden, Dylan Kilburn, Josh Osborne, Faith, uh, uh, excuse me, Sasha Dawson, Skylin Carlson, Kathy Kantar, Trey Campbell, Faith Johnson, Justin Acosta, that it is 41 of Austin Hughes, Johnny Gardner, Dylan Hughes, T. 
Tim, let me give you Dylan Ruiz, Skylar Harris, John Acosta, and Alex Filter, Daniel Schwab, James Qualls, and Joseph Lombard, your DNFs. Another poor, fin bad finish for James Qualls. That is really not going to help his cause. Eric Matthews trying to regain points. As right now, he dropped a knife in the points. He's looking to try to rebound himself to try to catch Liam Gamble. Same with Keon Shaw, who started off with a commanding lead. Four wins under his belt. He's already outside of the top five, just hanging on to the sixth spot. Zach Carlson right now is in the fifth spot, so that's interesting to know. And Trent Dunham right now is in the eighth spot. So right now, your top three are all, right now, in your top five, your top three are all, excuse me, yeah, your top three are all in the top ten points, and with the exception of Zach Carlson, in the case of Eric Matthews and Trent Dunham, both of them are not in the top ten, not top five, excuse me, they're eighth and ninth, and Zach right now is fifth in the points. And then Ray Caster, who actually matches his position in ninth, right now he's rounding out the top ten, and Keon Shaw is right now sixth in the points. Interesting to note. Right now, Liam Campbell, as I said, is 22nd. Second to the points, Josh Osborne is 26th. Stephanie Naylor, third in the points, is 20th. And Tim Walsh right now, fourth in the points. Well, one at Riverside is 14th. Dylan Poteet right now, seventh of the points, is 12th. And that's the rest of the, of the notables in the top 10. So right now, it'll be 7 of 20. We're not at the halfway point yet. We're at the quarter. We're about third of the way in, roughly. Eric Matthews leads. Eric Matthews is actually winless this year. Right now in the top five, top ten, the only winners are Liam Gamble, winner at Richmond, Tim Walsh, winner at Riverside in the four time, and the aforementioned Keon Shaw won four times. Everybody else is looking for their first win. Actually, your top four, all of which are looking for their first wins. Trent Dunham, Alexander Dawson came from second in the points last year, has come up so far winless. Zach Carlson is trying to look for his first win. He's came. He's not been fortunate in that standing of things. Derek Matthews, after coming off a couple of wins last year, he's looking to try to rebound himself. Good jump by Eric. Good jump by Zach Carlson. Good jump by Trent Dunham. Is basically going to get into some three wide racing. Here comes Dunham to the inside of Zach Carlson. Eric Matthews so far leads. Now, Zach Carlson drops back to fourth now, courtesy of Eric Matthews, can be courtesy of Alexander Dawson is now Zach Carlson. It can be Alexander Dawson now trying to take the number two spot with the help of his brother, Michael. The Dawson brothers helping each other out. Sometimes it's good to have a brother in hand. Alexander Dawson, with the help of Michael, is going to take the number one spot. Yes, he will. But here comes Keon Shaw, three wide battle for third. Keon trying to get win number five already this season and really throttle himself back to the number one spot. But Alexander Dawson's got a good, comfortable lead now. Battle for second going on. Here comes Nick Baxter. I do believe he won this year at North Wilkesboro, I do believe. He won at Martinsville. He's trying to go on the inside of Keon. Here comes Dylan Poteet again. And our pole sitter, Jonathan Gator slash Talladega winner. Poteet's going to go to the number three spot now. But three wide battle going on behind him. Here comes now Jonathan Gators. Now here comes Nick Baxter to the inside. He's going to take the number one spot away from Alexander Dawson. Now here comes Gators back into it. Ryan Cooper, Dylan Poteet's teammate, is now going to try to take the number three spot. Great racing going on. We're not really at the halfway point. We're about two laps shy of it. As here comes Timmy Fiegel, Fred Christopher, looking to try to get a good showing here. Tim Walsh, the winner at Riverside. And right now, Ryan Cooper's got the number two spot. Nick Baxter's got number one, and Tim Fiegel's going to take number three with the help of Fred Christopher. Great racing. Now, Baxter goes up high, giving enough room for Tim Fiegel to take the number one spot. That was a pretty tricky little move there. 
He went up high enough, gave him enough cushion, and now they're going two by two racing. We may be seeing a three abreast situation now coming Fred Christopher. Bob Marshall, also a previous winner, just won at Pocono. He's looking to try to get his second win of the season, but here comes now Fiegel. He's going to be Fiegel going up high. Here comes Walsh going inside of Fred Christopher. Fred Christopher just barely wins the race back to, actually, Fiegel just wins the race back to the line. Whoa! What a save there. They went way high over there. Five wide, and that was not going to be pretty. And we're still green. How about that? Fred Christopher is damaged, but up now we're yellow. Skyler Harris just spun out Tim Fiegel, and we got more crashing. Yep. Our points leader, Liam Campbell. Dylan Hughes, the winner at... Fontana, Fred Christopher, which we saw the race back to the line, I do believe will be won by, I missed it, Bob Marshall won the race back to the line, so he'll take the lead, we'll be back to green flag racing, that's without a doubt, and Zach Carlson once again goes to the number two spot, oh man, Tim Fiegel battling it out with Fred Christopher, and here's the interesting thing, they had a great battle going on there, and then both Fiegel and Marshall and Christopher. There's Bob Marshall on the inside of of uh, Tim Walsh. They go up high. They save it. And then here's where it goes. Five wide. Wait a minute. Up. Here's where you get five wide. Boom. There's your five wide right there. Tim Fiegel, Fred Christopher. Ray Caster, Keith Batson, and you knew that was a bad, a bad predicament. Thankfully, Fred Christopher hit the wall, even though he basically put himself out of the race, because you could tell that death smoke was basically what made a difference. We were still green flag racing until Fiegel basically came down into Dylan Hughes. Or excuse me, that was not the reason. Here's your it all actually transpired. Levi Jones and Dylan Hughes and Alexander Dawson. And oh man, Dylan Pote got into that. That was actually your trigger of your yellow. Levi Jones, I do believe, gets hooked by Dylan Pote into Austin Hughes. Austin Hughes pins Alexander Dawson. There's where Liam Campbell gets in it. Kathy Cantara, Dylan Hughes, Colin Cropley. No, actually, that was Sasha Dawson and Dylan Kilburn. Cropley, I do believe, was up a ways. Yep, Cropley was in safe haven with. Yep. Fred Christopher. Who basically came to a stop. Yeah. Fred Christopher, who we all knew was done for, going right into the rear of Dylan Hughes. If you're hitting that wall, the ride wasn't over. T-boned right into the front quarter of Dylan Hughes. That was ugly. Let's go on board with Fred Christopher. Going from just hanging on to the, just in a battle for the lead, into the wall courtesy of Timmy Beagle, and then out of the race. As they go up high, they save it. by smoke that's what you get tough break for Fred Christopher so now with that said we are going to be back green flag racing for sure Bob Marshall leads then it is Zach Carlson then it is Timmy uh, give me Tim Walsh then it will be Michael Daw uh, give me that's John Dawson Keith Batson, Trent Dunham, Ryan Cooper, Michael Dawson, Connor Breton, Stephanie Naylor, Nick Baxter, Eric Matthews, Keon Shaw, Jonathan Gators, Faith Johnson, Colin Cropley, Ray Caster, Shadeli Barr, Alexander Dawson, Justin Acosta, Trey Campbell, Dylan Pote, Johnny Gardner, Levi Shones, Sasha Dawson, Dylan Kilburn, Skylin Carlson, Josh Osborne, Austin Hughes, 
Jennifer Hughes, Kathy Katara, Liam Campbell, Dylan Hughes, Alex Filter, John Acosta, Sa Skyler Harris, DNFs, Dylan Ruiz, Tim Feigle, Tim Feigle, Fred Christopher, Dylan Ru uh, Daniel Schwab, Kyle, uh, James Qualls, and the only last DNF right now is Joseph Lombard. Do be back to Green Flag Racing this time by. So it will be. Six laps to go. Basically, any more cautions. I mean, if there's one more caution, I think we have a one lap shootout. But any more cautions otherwise will cement the end of the race. If they go one more, if they go less than five laps to go and we're under yellow, that will be the race. So right now, gotta have to play it very carefully. Right now, Bob Marshall, the Pocono winner, leads the field. Good jump on Zach Carlson. Here comes Tim Walsh, the Riverside winner, going to the inside. Here comes Keith Batson as well, battling it out for third, fourth, excuse me, with Michael da with John Dawson. Here comes Ryan Cooper, also down the inside, Keon, oh, give me that, John, Michael Dawson. Here comes Keith Batson to the inside, he's gonna make a bonsai move on Bob Marshall, excuse me, actually, Tim Walsh. Tim will hold on to that five laps to go. Excuse me, that's four laps to go now. Basically, it's do or die time. No more yellows. Four wide. Uh oh. Oh man, they touching over there. They're basically trying to hold on there. Keith Bats has now got the number one spot. They drag race down the back straightaway. Bob Marshall, Keith Batson. Batson trying to get his first win. A get healthy day if that's the case. Stephanie Naylor looking for his her first career win now. Batson now has the catbird seat. Three laps to go now. Keith Batson leading. Stephanie Naylor second. Here comes Keon Shaw looking for win number five. Here comes now Stephanie the inside of Keith Batson. Keith got a lap under there, but Keon Shaw and right there on his back on her back bumper. They drag race now. Here comes Keon looking to make a peek. Here we go. Here goes Keon right now trying to make a move on Stephanie Naylor. Stephanie came so close at Charlotte and then just missed it. But here comes Keon Shaw. He'll actually take that lap. Two laps to go. But here comes John Dawson, Ray Caster, Colin Cropley. Four wide. Whoa, no. There goes Ray Caster into the wall with Keith Batson. Race to the line now. We'll look at that momentarily right now. Keon Shaw in the catbird seat. But now he's looking for win number five to bounce himself back up to that number one spot. Right now, John Dawson hopes that's not the case. Stephanie Naylor, same thing. One last turn right now for Keon Shaw for win number five. Put it in the books. Keon Shaw, fifth win of the season and right timing. Keon Shaw wins another one. Oh, man. What a transpiring series of events with Ray Caster and Keith Batson. Here where they were battling with Faith Johnson, Colin Cropley on the inside. They go almost four wide. Ray Caster goes right into Faith Johnson, gets put right into Keith Batson. And that was it. That basically gave Keon Shaw all the power in the world to go away with that victory. So, tough break for Keith Batson and Ray Caster. They were both players right there. Oh, man, Josh Osborne took a little bit of a brushing on that. Thankfully, that was really it, per se. Keon Shaw, another win. Can you believe it? Yeah, Keith Batson way off the pace. Oh, man, Dylan Hughes got held up by Keith Batson. He was basically pushing him, and then he got out of the way. Thankfully, we didn't have any more wrecking but what we had, but Keon Shaw takes the victory right to the bank with him. 
So here's our standing on things. Keon Shaw, win number five. That will really thrust himself back and use that as a good pick-me-up. Jen John Dawson, Stephanie Naylor, Colin Cropley, Dylan Poti, Trent Dunham, Michael Dawson, Bob Marshall, Tim Walsh, Johnny Gardner, Nick Baxter, Eric Matthews, Zach Carlson, Jonathan Gators, Faith Johnson, John Acosta, Justin Acosta, Trey Campbell, Connor Breton, Alexander Dawson, Ryan Cooper, Chantelli Barra, Sasha Dawson, Liam Campbell, Skylin Carlson, Josh Osborne, Dylan Hughes, Jennifer Hughes, Dylan Kilburn, Austin Hughes, Keith Batson, Skylar Harris, Alex Filter, Kathy Gandara, Levi Jones, and John Acosta, Ray Castor, DNF, Dylan Ruiz, Tim Spiegel, Fred Christopher, Daniel Schwab, James Qualls, and Joseph Lombard. But win number five? Can you believe it? Keon Shaw needed that. He literally did nose one out to try to get that number, to get himself another win under his belt. As we go back to road course racing for our next event, and with that actually gets himself back into the top five. He's now third. Stephanie Naylor now with that number three finish puts her now number one. And Liam Campbell drops to number two. Keon's now number three. Tim Walsh is number four. Stays in put. Josh Osborne drops to fifth. Dylan Poteet moves up to sixth. Trent Dunham moves up to seventh. Zach Carlson drops to eighth after really looking like he had a shot. Eric Matthews dropping to ninth. Staying in ninth. Colin Cropley gets back into the top ten with another good showing. And Bob Marshall, Nick Baxter, Connor Breton, Ray Caster, dropping down to 14th. Dylan Kilburn, Levi Shones, Alex Filter, Jennifer Hughes, Tim Fiegel, and Alexander Dawson. Then Dylan Ruiz, Kathy Cantara, Chantelli Barra, Jonathan Gators, Daniel Schwab, Justin Acosta, Austin Hughes, John Dawson, Faith Johnson, John Acosta, Sasha Dawson, Keith Batson, who looked like he had a shot at winning until he wrecked. Fred Christopher, James Qualls also... Not a good showing. Again, his fourth DNF of the season. Then Joseph Lombard, Skylar Harris, Ryan Cooper, Johnny Gardner, Skylin Carlson, Michael Dawson, Dylan Hughes, and Trey Campbell right now dead last. Ironically, there's only two drivers left that have not got a single DNF, those being Tim Walsh and Kathy Katara. However, both of them have got... However, in the case of both of them, they have also DNQ to race, so you can't even say. So technically, with their 17 races, you would rather be at all finish all races instead of DNQ one. So that's basically where we stand. Next race on Trophy Road Course Racing at Sonoma Save Mart Supermarket 300.